Hello everybody, Jackie here, and welcome to The Bite Mark. And today, we are discussing the uh, PS5 reveal event that happened recently. Now, I just want to say one thing about this design right here. This is not a joke. This is exactly what this fucking thing looks like. <laughs> it literally looks exactly like that and here's the um okay there's the front i think yeah I, I believe and here's the back i believe i could be wrong but you get what i'm saying anyway um so basically <laughs> it, it, it looks ridiculous it looks like a router as of course uh, some people have stated because i know that some routers actually do look like that um i have some things to discuss and uh, it's in regards to what's good, bad, and average about the entire event that actually happened. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, this basically looks like a PS2 if it got like two folders super glued to the side of it, like two folder ends, basically. So yeah, um, so anyway, um, there were a lot of stuff that was shown here, and I'm just going to basically go down... Uh, everything and i'll discuss what i considered to be interesting or not this is what the thing looked like uh let me go ahead and um let's show some more pictures basically to give a more bird's eye view to it i apologize if it's on the side but this is what the damn thing looks like can you zoom okay you can't okay so moving on yeah it's got a nice usb port which is cool I mean, I can eventually get used to this weird Frankenstein's monster design, but yeah. That's <laughs> what it looks like. Ooh boy. Can't wait to play the PS5 and talk about the games that were shown there. <laughs> Dual Sense controllers. Um, that That's what this looks like. The controllers look good. I mean, for the most part, it looks like it's designed well. But, yeah, um... I'm just going to say this right now, this reveal event really disappointed me for the most part, and I will explain more about that because um, I've noticed that through my previous uh, videos when I when I was discussing the E3 events, um, I didn't exactly go into details. If I say um a lot, I apologize but in advance, but yeah, I'm doing this all off the cuff. Uh, I took some uh, brief notes during this, so yes, this, this, this all looks really, really nice. Uh, oh, wait, what was that? HD camera, okay, that's a standard, uh, that's actually pretty nice, my only complaint, where's the fucking mic, that's, that's my only complaint about it, right there, uh, then you got this fucking sex toy looking remote, media remote, um, I don't know, okay, so let's close this out, and we're gonna go on to what was, uh, interesting, um, I'll just basically, uh, explain everything, uh, give my thoughts on it as I show, um, hang on, as I go, so yes, uh, this game, what I could tell you, graphically, it looks really damn good. And I have Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West, or Horizon 2 if you will, or Horizon 2 v Forbidden West, um, it looks really, really amazing. And all I really know about it is that there's going to be more wildlife and I'm guessing more enemies. As is, uh, hold on, um, I'm kind of just going based right here. Um... Based on what we see throughout the trailer, it clearly shows that, like, I'll, I'll show you here. Let's scoop ahead a little bit. Uh, sh hold on. You can swim as well. I mean, I'm certain that it's going to be really, really cool with secrets, a bunch of other shit. It sounds awesome. I can't wait to actually play it. The uh, continued wildlife expansion of uh, cybernetic-like creatures is going to be there, so... Um, Yes, there we go. Um, and all that. So, I gotta say this. Even the enemies look cool. And I can't wait to play that. Gorilla. <laughs> I haven't seen them uh, release any new games re recently aside from this one. So, I'm, I'm glad to see that they're, they made something like this. Uh, Marvel's... Uh, all, and, unfortunately, I just want to say, uh, I want to explain. I forgot to... <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, there was no gameplay shown at all for 
the majority of what was here. I, I will explain if there was gameplay shown or not, because I'm just trying to remember. Uh, okay, so Spider-Man and Miles Morales. I'm just going to say this right now. As cool as this all looks, all of it, is awesome. With him kicking ass and all. I'm certain that it's going to be probably just as fun as the previous one. Which was about Peter Parker as Spider-Man. Um, unfortunately, we get no detail whatsoever when we see the event. All of what you see here... This is it. I guess we are expected to think, hey, it's going to be just like the other one, but uh, j just like the other one, but still. It's kind of annoying that they didn't have any actual detail, but I'm about any new additions or whatnot. But yeah, okay. But it's cool. Uh, it's coming out holiday 2020. That looks cool. Now, here's another one that I will say. I like Gran Turismo 5. It's one of my favorites. But uh, there isn't much to say about this one because this is all cinematics. There is no gameplay here. And it sounds like I'm bitching about it. And I may kind of kind of sound like a bitch, but whatever. I bitch a lot. I'm only human after all. Um, I guess there's some gameplay here. That looks kind of nice, but... I don't know what's supposed to be new about this. Is there supposed to be some VR that will be involved? I, I, I don't know. There's not much I can really say about this other than it looks cool, and it seems like it may be it may have little to no new ideas. Now, here's another game that does look really cool. Now, this one looks awesome. I'm not the biggest Ratchet and Clank fan. But I'm going to say this. This looks great. Oh, shit. I forgot to put on HD. What the hell's wrong with me? I should be ashamed. Okay, there we go. It looks better. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. Close, damn it. There we go. What? Auto HD. <laughs> Fucking IGN, you pieces of shit. Okay. So basically, this is what happens. All right. I'll show you. Let me go and rewind again. Okay. Anytime during gameplay, those little rift things will happen and you'll teleport from one point to the next. It's some sort of weird-ass time travel that basically happens. It's not much I can really say aside from that. It looks cool, but, you know, I expected a bit more. There's not much detail to it. Uh, time travel might be involved... It's weird, but it's not something we haven't seen already, if you know what I'm saying. And of course, the gameplay is as fluent as Ratchet and Clank has been for years. Granted, the uh, PS4 new reboot of the first game uh, that came out on PS4, that one was locked at 30 FPS, but at the same time, it still was cool. It's something that we can get around. And, of course, there's the addition of a, uh, what do you call it? A new character. I forgot her name. All I know is that I like how she looks, and strangely enough, the furry fandom has made porn of them much to no, of her, <laughs> much to no one's surprise. But anyway, that's it's not, not a surprise. The, the, the furries, they make porn of pretty much anything, if of anything, you know what I mean. Uh, they draw that they have the tendency to. So yes, let's see if there's anything new. Yada yada yada. Okay, jump through portals, other dimensions, before being split up. Jump from planet to planet almost instantly. So that's pretty nice. There's a fast travel system involved. Uh, there's going to be ray traced reflections on Clank's head. Cool, I guess. And then there's of course Demon Souls. Which is getting a remake. I'm not surprised at all. There wasn't really any actual gameplay here. All I can tell you is um, it looks good. But considering I don't really like Dark Souls or that style very much. 
unless I'm playing Dark Souls 2 and 3. I mean, I like those on PC, but uh, that that's about it. I mean, Demon Souls Remake, I might try, but I'm really not that interested, unfortunately, because it's in the same style as Dark Souls. Because if I was to play it without cheats, let's just say it would be hard as balls. I'm certain that it might be easier in some regard, but still, I, I, I don't care for it. Okay. Then there's this weird thing that happened. Strangely enough, it's a game called Deathloop, which is, I believe, made by... Let me just take a look here at my notes as I'm going over this. Um, okay, all right. Okay, so I, I, I was wrong. I'm, okay, so I don't know much about these people. I believe they made uh, Dishonored 1 and 2. I could be wrong about that. Um, so basically, throughout the majority of this, you, um, uh, I believe, repeat over and over. It's some sort of, I guess, I don't know. It's this weird event thing called Death Loop, in which basically you die, and you basically just come back to life, and I guess kick ass? Again? Restart loop? Yeah, exactly. This sort of shit happens, and I think it's just weird. I, 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 I wasn't really all that fond of it. The gameplay, however, and art style is amazing. But that that's all I can say. That It looks cool. But aside from... Um, I guess the death loop is some sort of weird restart feature. But then again, we could already restart levels no matter what we do. Unless, uh, you know... It involves more lives, and there's going to be some enemies to face, including these bosses that are shown in puzzle piece form. Uh, I don't know much about the game. Apparently, uh, one of them is, seems to be a wolf pack of some sort. And, yeah, not much I can say about that. Oh, great! A basketball game! This is exactly why I want to get a, uh, what do you call it, a fucking... PS5 or sorry, it's <laughs> just the very thought of this is making my brain cells just reduce significantly. Boring, boring. Next, okay. Will GTA Online be free for PS5 owners? According to what I heard um, during the PS5 during the reveal event, basically PS. GTA 5 will be uh, was basically announced as being uh, free to all PS5 owners when it la launches in 2021. Cool. I would not get it for that system, but okay, because I already play it on mostly PC. But I do also, uh, when it comes to GTA Online, because I have a crew I play with, uh, a team, you know. Uh, we I, we play on uh, Xbox, but yeah, um, one of course, Xbone. So yeah, all PS and apparently all PS4 owners will get one million ca dollars cash in GTA on five, five, in basically GTA Online game cash because obviously that's how it would go. I th I'm not sure if it will be um, in the single player campaign, but whatever. Let, let's move. Okay, still DualSense controller, uh, okay, I didn't really care. Basically, it's going to involve motion sensing and other capabilities. Um, I will be providing a link to this entire article below, so yeah. Uh, Sackboy, big adventure. Uh, this one is weird. I don't know whether it's supposed to be a spinoff or not, but uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, yes, we get it. You look really nice. You always do, especially on the PS5. Oh, joy. Oh, sack boy. I'm going to be honest with, with you about this game. Um, as soon as I can load it here. Um, 720. It seems like it's easier to load. There we go. Much better. Um, it looks like um, basically a continuation of Little Big Planet or a spin-off of sorts. It's strange because um, Little Big Planet was always about Sackboy, so I'm a little bit um, confused with that one. 
Maybe it will be better, I don't know, but you can already play Little Big Planet with a friend, so that j this just seems like some way to, I guess, probably revive the franchise. I could be wrong about this, and apparently you can play it with uh, more than two players. I didn't know if that's how it was in the old games, because I didn't entirely play it as much. I most <laughs> The most that I played it, in terms of just playing it, aside from playing it myself, is playing it with uh, another friend. But yeah, Sackboy, a big adventure. Okay, um, let's see what details are here that I don't know. Oh, there's going to be a co-op. Yes, there's going to be co-op. That's nice. 3D platformer. Okay, uh, no release date was given. And at least there was some gameplay here, but yeah. Uh, Hitman 3. Okay, I'm just going to say this right now. Okay. Now I'm going to probably get some hate for this one. But Hitman never really interested me. I never really liked a lot of the stealth-oriented games. Metal Gear, well, one and Metal Gear Solid One, Four were cool, but this one just never. This franchise never interested me. I can understand stealth in some regard, but there was no real gameplay shown, and the new voice actor just sounds really friggin' lame. And I, I, I remember playing. Hold on some of Hitman, and I can just play this little snippet for you, and just, just, uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me just remind this a little bit. And now, you find yourself alone. He just oozes with charm, doesn't he? With less emotion, he just he sounds less interesting in comparison to the previous 47. Granted, I played only Hitman Absolution, which is not really a high point in the series, but I played it. And the voice acting was good for the most part, but at the same time, and 47 sounded like he should. Here, they got a new voice actor, and I don't care for it. Then again, I never liked Hitman all that much anyway. Then there's... Ghostwire Tokyo, which may or may not be some sort of fucking VR game. I don't know what to expect. Uh, one of the characters looks like Slenderman. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to think. Well, let me just go like this. I'll lower this a little bit. Okay, so the gameplay is shown here. I don't know anything about its story or what's to be expected. But I guess you fight spirit like creatures. Are they are they like the personas, the the, the spirit demons from the persona games or some shit? It, I, I don't know what to expect. I I, I, I don't know. This it, it looks strange. And while I do like Shinji Mikami, the creator of Resident Evil, <laughs> and with one of the best ones being 4, despite it jump-starting RE into the crazy action game territory, which reduces the horror, this does look cool. And it's coming next year, apparently. Moving on to... It looks interesting. I like this. It looks kind of cool. Uh, Godfall. Now, this one was fucking weird. And... Uh, mainly because... Let, let me show you. Just, just watch. Apparently, Gearbox made this. The Borderlands creators. The ones who fucking killed Maya. Yes! These assholes have made this. Okay, I'm going to say this. It's awesome. I like the fact the gameplay is, and so are the graphics, but there's not much I can say about this. Because I don't know anything about it. All I know is what the gameplay is supposed to be like. <sighs> so, um, I, I don't know if I can recommend it. It looks fun. Um... I think it might be PvP, I'm not certain. More about that later. But yeah, it's 
it might be just like Borderlands in that regard, but I could be wrong, so don't hold me to that. And what is this shit? Hold on, hold on, let me just fast forward a little bit here. Okay. This one was strange. I mean, it's clearly sci-fi oriented, something called Pragmata. There is no gameplay whatsoever being shown, and... Um... Apparently he, um, finds this girl, and I, I don't know what to expect from this. Apparently, I guess it, the world is kind of decaying, if you will, or some shit like that. I, I, don't, I don't know what, what's supposed to... What, what is even going on? This is confusing, yo. So, um, ugh. and I guess she, what, can she, like, hack into shit? What? What? Me ish confessions. I don't know what's going on. I'm guessing she's supposed to be your AI partner. And apparently it's from Capcom. Astro's Playroom. Now, I don't know what to expect about this. I've never played any of the Astrobot series, but apparently Astro's Playroom is a thing. I, I don't I don't know what to expect. What's the what is this? Is this supposed to be like Little Big Planet or something? I, I don't get it. It's adorable. And I'm guessing it's supposed to involve motion sense or some crap. Yep, looks like it. <laughs> what? I mean, it looks cute and all, but it doesn't really scream by me now. This might actually be a failure, if anything. <laughs> it's adorable, but not much here for me to care about. I I I don't no N no sorry no 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 that doesn't no now here's something that I know uh, some people would be excited for because it actually is kind of cool. Basically, it's one of the Odd World games. Um, let me go and get to there. We go. So, apparently, I believe Oddworld is kind of like some sort of strange platformer. And there's these alien people, I guess. I, I, I don't know much about it. All I know is Cad Icarus is a big fan of him. Of this particular game series. Um, I definitely recommend taking a look at Cad Icarus' videos on the Oddworld games. Because he has more to say about them. I don't know what to think, what to say. I don't know. What the hell is this? Oddworld Soulstorm? I heard about them, but I never played them. But at least it showed gameplay, so that's nice. Now here's something that I didn't care for at all. It's called uh what was it? Uh fucking Okay. Um this looks like um how do you put it? What do you call it? Um how do I put it in the best way? Okay, so this apparently has some gameplay to show. This has some weird um, effect where she keeps on waking up and experiencing death. I, I don't know what more to say other than it's supposed to be some sort of sh sci-fi shooter. I don't know about you guys, but this looks generic to me. 
and it has an ugly main character to boot, so I, I don't really, I don't see the appeal here. Some might like this, but with n little information given, I don't know, Housemark, I don't know who they, I don't know who they are, I don't think. Next game from developer Housemark, let me, let me, uh, let me actually go look them up and see what they've made. I, I really should have just searched it. Actually, no, hang on. Fuck it, I'll do that now. Okay. Uh, fucking, okay. So what did they make? Okay. Next Machina. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I like that one. Alienation. Okay. Oh, they made that hard game. Not sure what to think. Was it Storm Divers? Never played it. Uh, so. I don't know what to expect about that one, but this one is something that somewhat intrigues me. But, hold on. Uh, where is it? Okay. It's called Destruction All Stars. A PvP Destruction Derby game. Apparently, they decided to take, um, I'll show you here as soon as the gameplay. Okay, so apparently what they decided to do was basically, uh, let's see here, um, I guess it's supposed to be like Twisted Metal, uh, fucking, and Fortnite combined, because the characters do look like they came straight out of Fortnite, <laughs> or Fortnite Rejects that they have there. Uh, there's this one guy that I watch sometimes named Dr. Disrespect and or DR Disrespect and um, he basically said that this is looks similar to uh, Rocket League and the cars kind of resemble Rocket League but I don't know what else to say aside from this just seems like it's going to be another one of those games that may excite some but only time will tell I mean once once it comes out we'll have more information on it I mean we don't know how it's going to be there's some gameplay but it's pretty much the majority of it is done through cinem cinematics which is a problem because most of these games are that like this this is a game made by Square Enix which Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, there is some gameplay here, but mostly none. Very little to really go off of, aside from, I guess there's this girl who is the chosen one. Well, not the chosen one, but she's, uh, what do you call it? Basically, it's a savior slash hunter. Or, oh, not hunter, but yeah. In a sense, a uh, hero, uh, the protagonist, so to speak. I'm not sure if it's a chosen one. There, there is nothing this really gives me, other than she will save us all, and she'll. And apparently, it's a PS5 exclusive. Okay. Um. All right. I I don't know what to say. Now here's something that is kind of weird. Okay, so apparently the, it's all taking place in a cybernetic-like environment, and, well, you play as a cat, of all things. It's adorable, but I don't know how it's supposed to be engaging. I mean, does the cat have powers? Does it attack? What, what exactly is um, going to happen in this to make it intriguing? Because walking around the entire time, like it's Fallout Shelter, just doesn't really scream appealing to me. Graphics are nice, but th that's all I can say about it. We know nothing about it other than it's called Stray, and that's it. Kina, Bridge of Spirits. Now this looks cool. It's got some adventure game-like vibes going for it. 
Okay, so apparently there's this girl. I'm guessing her name is Kina. That that's that's my guess. And she's able to, of course, do that. She utilizes spiritual power, I believe. Energy-based attacks, mostly. And she's got a staff. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to the gameplay, please. Wait, hold on. What's that? What happened there? She's rising up to make a difference, I guess. Okay, so... That's all I can really tell that I've... With what this has to offer. I, I don't know what to think. It's adorable. The gameplay looks intriguing enough, but... It doesn't really pull me in enough. And of course, there will be some large enemies, and I'm guessing, and boss battles, but that's pretty much the standard for a game like this. And it's restoring peace to the land, and fighting darkness. I, I, I don't know what to think. This one looks kind of cool. And it looks like uh, certain high school kids may enjoy it. Um, at least those that are furries, if you will. I'm actually going to... Hold on. I'm actually going to let this play. Hang on. You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? No. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Well, always... Well, okay, somewhat. And put it that way. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine. But I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose... Ladies and gentlemen, the high school furry simulator. Might as well jump. Jump? Hold on. Restart for a second. Might as well jump. Let me really rewind. Three on a second. Hang on, let me rewind a little here. So you Oh, damn it, I forgot the louder it, sorry. There, play. Holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. I might as well jump. Are you going to do great things? Are you going to end your life? You're not really explaining anything. Possibly making good things, but based on that comment, I'm guessing death. End of an era. Era. Um. I. 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 I don't know what to think about that one aside from it's every. <laughs> uh. Teenage furries wet dream. <laughs> I think furries may get a kick out of that. I mean, I personally, um, <laughs> I know it's saying a lot coming from me and my avatar, but still, <laughs> um, it doesn't really intrigue me. There's nothing to go off of. Just the art style. It looks like it was made in Flash. Okay, this. Here's something. Jet the Far Shore. Okay. Sorry if it sounds like I'm skipping a lot of this, but there is next to nothing here that I need to, that makes me care about any of this. Aside from, I guess, a plane somewhat is cool, but this doesn't look good. It doesn't look interesting at all. It's 
especially the character models. I mean, it's ugly looking. Skip. Total skip. Don't like that one. Solar Ash gameplay. Hold on. Hyper Light. Wait, what? Hyper Light Drifter. I think I remember that game. Yeah. Came out recently. Never played it, but yeah. I, I don't know what else to say other than... It doesn't look that interesting. Some may like it, but... Hold on. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to really say about this. It looks boring. And this is part of, and this is one of those games that I, um, well, games that was shown at this event that unfortunately just didn't really have any real action to it. This is something that, well, um, okay, Let's see here. This seemed more like it had cinematics more than gameplay, but it doesn't. Based on the designs and all, it seems inventive, but not much more for me to go off of. Gameplay doesn't even look that cool. I'd say skip it. And then there's this this fucking weird game called Bug Snacks. I'm I'm not kidding. D just just watch. What the hell? <laughs> God, why? I could have made it bigger, but yeah. Yeah, I think I might do that next time. Yeah, I'll, no, fuck it, I'll do it now. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> what the? What? What the hell? The creators of Octodad made this shit. I. I. I mean, just what? What's going on? What is this supposed to be? What? <laughs> it's kind of cute, but it's weird as shit. What am I supposed to say about this? D do, you, do you take care of bug snacks? Do you hunt them? The game doesn't really make that clear. It's just about bug snacks. So I guess you play as them. Hold on. Was this made by the Asylum or some shit? What is... What the fuck, man? Oh my god, that, that... It's just... It's fucking weird. I'm sorry. Hold on. Oh, where did I go? Where? Oh, I had to restart all the way up because... IGN's website is shit. Uh, okay. So yeah, doesn't look that cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. That was really shown because I've seen everything, and while some looked okay, most looked really boring to me. I know some are hyped for Demon Souls or that new Ratchet and Clank game or the new Spider Man, but. Those don't really scream by to me. At least I don't think so. It's all based on what you prefer, but for me, I wasn't all that impressed with this game system. 
So, yeah, that's pretty much my two cents. A lot of what they showed was mostly cinematics and very little gameplay or explanation on how certain games will be. It's more fun to actually hear about how a game is fun or, I mean, more about a certain game so we can make it make up our minds as to how we find it fun. It's It was boring. I hate to say it, but this event was boring as hell for the most part. But that's just my opinion. What did you guys think of the PS5 um, reveal event? Comment below. Anyway, that's just my two cents on the whole thing. Well, my bite mark on it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, anyway, thank you all for tuning in. And I'll see you all in the next videos. Stay batty, my friends.